everyone and welcome back to Meeple Leaf Reviews. I'm your host Jeffrey. And I am Jacob. So today we're going to be doing another before and after segment where we're taking a look at the grizzled from Cool Mini or Not. Uh, so in our before and after segment we're going to give you our thoughts before we play the game for the very first time. Then we're going to come back and tell you what we thought of it afterwards. So uh, yeah we have the grizzled here. Uh, Jacob I you picked this one up uh, so why did you... Why did you pick it up? Um, well, it it came out by Cool Mini or Not. I'm a big uh, kind of Cool Mini or Not fanboy. So yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I love all their games. I kind of wanted to give it a try. It seemed like it was interesting. I also really like cooperative games. And uh, so, yeah, it was nice and nice and tiny box. Easy to fit on the shelf. Easy to travel with. Bring to outings. So I just thought it was probably going to be a good fit. Yeah, and uh, co-op games are not usually my cup of tea. Uh, usually, if I hear a game is cooperative, I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll probably pass. Uh, but it's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, the things I like about co-op games, and there are some that I do like, is when it's going to be really hard. Yeah, I want to lose a co-op more than I want to win a co-op. Oh yeah, for and sure. I heard that the Grizzled is a particularly tough one. So when I hear tough co-op, that kind of gets me a little bit more excited than just hearing a co-op game. Yeah, exactly. And that was another reason I heard, uh, after watching several reviews on it, I heard that not a lot of people were winning. Now, that hasn't always been, that has, hasn't always come to pass for our group. I don't yeah. know if we're just particularly good. Well, we're amazing. <laughs> so. <laughs> but I know with XCOM, XCOM was supposed to be a super difficult game and we yeah. haven't lost yet. Not on the normal. On um, uh, yeah, I I lost once on hard. I beat all in the norm, all normal, and all tutorial and all easy yep. games that I've played. Yeah, so but. a game that's going to provide a challenge in a co-op because if you're just going to walk over a game, and it's not going to be a challenge, then you're kind of just like, oh, and we win. That's not really exciting. I want it to come down to the wire and to be like the last possible yeah. thing, and then. Yeah, we win. Like those are the exciting things for call. So that's what I'm hoping out of this one. We'll we'll see. Hopefully, it just steamrolls over us, and that'll kind of be. <laughs> if it does that, that'll definitely meet my expectation for this game. So, that's that's kind of what I'm expecting. A hard hard co-op. Yeah, I'm expecting it to be hard as well. It, I don't know. The action selection uh, system seems to be very simple, and it seems to be. Uh, easy to make it through your mission play by play yeah. but um, it's going to be little extra things I'm assuming that are just going to pop out of nowhere and make us lose yeah. so I don't know it seems like it should be easy but from everything I've heard it's supposed to be hard so I'm not really sure what to expect yeah. actually yeah so I haven't read the rules he just did a quick explanation for me uh, but you've read the rules and from what it looks like is you're, you have these hand of cards that have these different threats and you're playing them out onto the board. You're trying to get rid of all the cards in this deck. Uh, but when you get three of a certain type of threat, then you fail the mission. And then more cards get added into your into your deck. And you've got to try and get through it before before time runs out. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll give it a play. We'll come back. We'll tell you what you think. And hopefully it uh, kicks, our, kicks our butts. All right. Sounds good to me. All right. Alright everyone, welcome back. We just finished our first game of The Grizzled, and what a quick game that was. Yeah, like five minutes. <laughs> we lost in the first three rounds, so your uh, your idea that it wasn't going to be as hard as you thought was completely wrong. Completely. And also, me too, after you explained the rules, I was like, well, this isn't doesn't seem that hard. But Yeah, you were like, wow. how, how do you lose? Yeah, how do you lose <laughs> <laughs> Very easily, apparently. Very easily, apparently. Uh, but no, it was it was super tough, which is what I was hoping for. It was even tougher than I thought. Uh, the the theme of it, where you're you know you're in a war and you're you're just trying to get through the, you know the all the gas and the bullets and the enemies and you know all the different you know the snow and trudging through the rain. Yeah, it was kind of cool, especially like as we were playing the cards, we were telling stories of us going through all these different different things it was it was really good a lot better than than i thought the the artwork is kind of very unique it's kind of cartoonish and stuff like that 
Um, but no, it was, it was good. Yeah, I liked it. I think um, mechanically speaking, if we were just to play the cards out, I think it would be kind of dull. Yeah. But the fact that we were telling a story with every card, you know, this one has snow on it and there's a bullet and gas mask icon. And if you ever have three of the same, then show up on the table, you lose. So we're, you know, explaining, oh yeah, you you took refuge from the snow um, as it was coming down in inside this house. But then um, uh, they threw gas into the building and we had to retreat and there was a hail of bullets followed. Yeah. And then the next person kind of carries on the story with their card. And it really felt very thematic, I felt. Yeah, it, it definitely brought it through, especially I gave this uh, rousing speech <laughs> yeah. for us because there's these speech tokens that can allow you to discard cards from your hand. So I gave a rousing speech, and then after that I had to play, uh, it's kind of like a status effect card yeah. on yourself. So I kind of made up the story where... After I gave such a good speech and everyone was so enlivened, I came a, became a bit prideful. Mm-hmm. So I played a prideful card. Uh, so you just kind of you weave in that story into the game, which was really cool. And I will say that after we played it and lost, I was like, oh, let's play again. Yeah. <laughs> we paused to record the video, but after this, we're probably going to play it at least, at least one more time, which is yeah, cool. Yeah, for sure. Uh, one thing I will mention is with two players, you have a dummy player. Now, the dummy player doesn't play any cards or anything, but you have these little support tiles, and they have icons saying you're supporting the player to your left or to your right. And if uh, it's an even amount of people that have the same amount of support, you don't get any support. Yeah. But if it's one player that has the majority of these support tokens pointing towards them, then they get a relief of either uh, getting back their lucky charm, which helps you uh, through the missions, or getting rid of a trauma card, which are these negative effects like the prideful one. That's actually how we lost our yeah. game, was you can never have more than four of these hazard cards in play on a character. And Jeffrey had uh, three, and he had a full hand of... Of, of hazards cards. and then one of his hazards was he's not allowed to retreat from a mission until everyone else has already retreated so he... I, I i told i told jacob i said you know it's looking pretty grim maybe we should maybe we shouldn't go any further and jacob was like oh i, I i'll i'll fix that i'll play one of my uh, lucky charm cards to get rid of this card and i was like well we lose because he then was forced to play a hazard and game yeah. over yeah, it was so it was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's really quick too, uh, yeah. and it makes a it makes a good story. So all around, I think a really good game. Yeah, the point I was getting on, I didn't really finish with these um, support tokens. You're pointing in the direction when you have the dummy player in there. The dummy player, you choose a random direction that he supports. So it's hard to kind of. Uh, cooperate with the people at the table to okay we need to give this person support and because you just have this one random card drawn and then each of us are generally going to give support to each other or it's it's kind of blind you're not supposed to table talk too much about what you're doing what you're planning yeah so but yeah i had a blast i'm excited to play it again right now yeah hopefully we'll uh, make it past round three yeah hopefully we'll make it past round three all right well that's our before and after video for the grizzled if it sounds pretty cool to you check it out all right take care see you guys next time